Slow down and move over. That's the message from tow truck drivers after one of their own was killed last month while working near Kelso in Washington. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez takes us to the procession held today in the man's honor. More than 100 tow trucks are here to honor and remember R. Anderson and to remind everyone when you see an emergency vehicle, slow down and move over. <laughs> Turning their pain into purpose, the friends and family of R. Anderson joined together to send a message. Slow down and move over, especially when their lights are on and they're doing the right thing, because it could be your family member one day. Sparkle Chisholm is one of Anderson's daughters. Her father was killed last month near Kelso while he was towing a car on I-5. Police say 43-year-old Anna Christie Ireland ran into Rick and Karen Stoker's car, killing the couple and Anderson. The Stoker's son, Travis, was also in the car but survived. We're holding it together okay as much as we can because our dad wouldn't want us just sitting here. He'd want us to get out and keep going. Chris Fisher and Jake Beals were both friends of Anderson and say they put this procession together so that no other family has to go through this again. We wouldn't have had this, this procession, this awareness right if people would pay attention. The two say this could have been prevented, and they're calling on everyone to slow down and move over. 90% of our drivers all have wives, children. They, you know, they want to go home. Sadly, Art didn't get to. We want to go home to our families. Yeah. That's, that's the bottom line right there. The family does have a GoFundMe account set up, and we've posted that information online at kptv.com. Reporting in Kelso, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.